I'm not sure if this is just a coincidence, but I feel like this is a little birthday gift. Look at this, guys. Marmoset Toolbag 5 beta release is now out. Marmoset has been one of my favorite softwares. I've been using it for a long, long time. I think like over 10 years. And now it has one of the most amazing features that you could possibly ask for, which is, of course, Udim support. Udims are everywhere nowadays. You can even use them inside of Unreal. They're super good. They're efficient. They are really, really good to get a lot of detail out of your characters and creatures and everything. So now we're going to be able to bake UVs, paint UVs, and display Udims um, them, sorry, inside of Marmoset. It's just, just amazing. It has a bunch of other things. There's this bevel shader baking right here. Um, there's the whole new, like, texturing process. Look at that. That camera looks amazing with all of those Udims. And it, it's just... I mean, guys, there's there's a couple of softwares, and I've mentioned this before, that never cease to amaze me and that they're always, like, doing more and more stuff. Marmoset is one of them. We can complain about other softwares and other companies and how they approach their development process, but Marmoset has been freaking amazing for the past, like, decade. So, yeah, this is it, guys. This is Marmoset 5 right here. We got Thyros, of course. I wanted to give it a shot with a complex character. And the UI has a couple of different changes. You can see things have been rounded up, so it's a little bit different. By the way, if you have a full Marmoset 4 license or if you're a subscriber to Marmoset, you can get the beta right now and you can, of course, give your feedback and, and check out some of the options. Uh, most of the stuff, it's pretty similar. We still have our texturing, render, animate, and setup layers over here, menus, viewport or sorry outliner all of the settings materials material settings so in general if you've used marmoset 4 before it's relatively easy to jump in and like learn about marmoset 5 but there's a couple of really interesting things so let's talk about the first one rastering type right so in marmoset 4 when you click here on the render options there was the option to change the different types of renders and there was like a little checkbox where you could turn on ray tracing well now instead of that we are gonna switch here in the raster section so the raster section allows us to change between raster which is sort of like the traditional sort of like game engine look then we're gonna go hybrid which is gonna have of course a little bit of both and ray tracing so ray tracing there we go and i don't know if it's just me or if it's a copium as they say nowadays but i feel it's faster i really really feel like this is is a little bit faster than um than it was on the previous version so it seems to be running like way way better right now i just have a very simple like skylight right here and i have uh, a top light like coming from the well, from the top right so this is the first sort of like simple change that i can see right now that the render is now changed with this little thing right here from raster to ray tracing other than that pretty much the same thing i'm definitely thinking about doing a a course or a a like video series tutorial or something about marmoset because it's a very very powerful software and one thing that i love about it is that you can buy you, you can buy but the perpetual license once and, and that's it they haven't announced how they're gonna deal with the upgrade from four to five however back when they did the switch from two to three and from three to four they would normally charge like I don't know. I want. I don't want to lie, but probably like 120 bucks or something like that to upgrade your license, which I think it's completely, completely fair to be honest for all of the things that we're gonna be getting uh, right here. Um, to add lights, same stuff. You just like like position your light and add it wherever you want. Remember, we we talked about this on on one of the recent. Um, Portfolio reviews that one of the advices that I always give is to like soften the light a little bit so that you don't have super harsh shadows. And I always like to play with temperature. I wish Blender had this temperature thing by default. I know there's like a plugin, but if it, if it just had it right there, it would be, I don't know, a little bit more practical. But there we go. So a little bit of a, of a rain light here for Tyrus. Now, you guys want to see something very, very cool? They announced, they announced that you can now use freaking fibers guys you can now use hair look at this you can go in drop a like hair mesh from traditional spline working like processes such as xgen ornatrix yeti uh, even in, in blender you can use uh, curves now instead of particle systems so if you do your groom if you do your preparation for the hair you can bring it in directly into freaking marmoset and i have it right here <laughs> Look at that, guys. It's just really, really cool. I, I still like uh, trying to learn how to set it up uh, a little bit better. One thing that I realized is that now the way it works is it imports the groups of splines, as you can see right here. So I have my uh, different like uh, groom elements. For instance, here are the eyebrows and it has certain parameters. So for instance, the width, so how thick the hair is gonna render. So if we like really push this quite into the big side, you can see that it looks a lot more uh, intense because at the end of the day, remember that this hair elements are just curves, right? So what this system is doing is sort of like extruding 
actually some of the of the curves uh, we can change the root scale the tip scale this is very similar to what you can do nowadays with uh, Unreal Engine so it's it's just really really good I still want to like learn a little bit more about how they're setting it up so that we can modify the material a little bit more because one thing that I've uh, seen right now is that it seems like the albedo map is just very simple like I'm not sure how to change like the root color the tip color or give a little bit of variation between the hairs um, but yeah, like this looks very, very cool, guys. Like doing this inside of Maya, like trying to get this render right here inside of Maya would usually take me about 20 to 25 minutes. So being able to just have the render here in less than 30 seconds, it's just, it's mind blowing, guys. It's, it's definitely a game changer. So yeah, let, let's take a couple of look at some of the other stuff. Now, um, Marmoset is a very strong texturing software as well. It has these things right now, the, the landscape options. You're now going to be able to blend things if you're using, again, softwares like uh, uh, Gaia or what's this other name? Like terrain generator and stuff like that, you're gonna be able to do like big scenes. Look at this, like it's a it's a huge like mountain range. So if you wanna do environments, it's definitely gonna be possible to do. This one is interesting. I don't do a lot of hard surface myself to be honest, but it, one thing that's very very common is that you don't wanna have a super high density mesh, but you wanna have a nice bevel on pretty much every single piece. And with the bevel shader, you're gonna be able to do that. So this is sort of like the low poly version. And if you add the bevel shader, you get like a very nice bevel pretty much everywhere. It's again very very like cool. You just model low poly, and then this will sort of like do it on, on a render base, right? Look on a render layer. So um, it's a really really powerful tool as well for those who are doing a lot of hard surface stuff. They have this new thing called sync points, which is really really interesting. It reminds me a little bit of how uh, like the communication between layers go, but it's another very powerful tool, especially if because uh, people have asked me about like other softwares to texture. Marmoset again, it's it's really really good one to do so. It it has a little bit of a different like process. I'm definitely gonna have to try it out to see how it does performance wise. But from what I've seen, it might be a really good option because uh, even in, in Substance, for instance, it can lack quite a bit, especially when you're using a lot of UDIMs. So I'm, I'm really curious about how this thing is gonna handle it. Right now, for instance, here on this camera, six UDIMs, and they seem to be like 2K or 4K UDIMs. So it's, it's definitely on the high side of things. So we're gonna have to try and test it out. I, I thought Tyros, I thought I did Tyros with UDIMs, but it seems like I, I didn't. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, guys, the fact that we have new tools and new ways to create elements is just super, super nice. Look at that. Yeah. It seems like there is a ray trace performance, as I mentioned, two times, five times, 10 times with high bands. Nice. Uh, there's the AGX stone mapping. This has been like very famous nowadays in, in several softwares. Blender has it. Um, it's just a way to like linearize or, or color correct things a little bit better so that you get a, a sort of like softer, more natural look on your, on your renders. But yeah, this is great, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm just so, so happy with this. So as I mentioned, if you want to try it out, it's completely free. You can just load, uh, load in or register, have your account, as long as you already own uh, Marmoset 4, of course. Uh, the one thing that I did notice is that for those of us who are already on the lifetime sort of like, um, lifetime sort of thing, it only gives us 60 days. They have not announced the, the final like pricing or the final release date or anything. But again, I... Just, just to test it out and see how this works, I think it's a, it's an amazing opportunity for everyone, guys. So make sure to check it out. Make sure to check out uh, Marmoset. We're probably going to be featuring here in the channel a couple more times. And uh, if you have questions about the software, also let me know. And I'll be happy to try them out and see how this thing behaves. Because so far, it's been amazing. That's it, guys. Go out there. Make amazing stuff. And I'll see you this Friday. Don't forget, special stream. We're going to have a really cool stream. So don't miss it. It's going to be 10 a.m. our usual time. So I'll see you there. Bye-bye.